Jason D. Salmon here with Jeff Zogut and Mark Medina. We are here in Chicago for the 2020 All-Star Game that just finished. And of course, as we all know, this is when the season really starts getting good. So we, I want to talk some storylines with you guys. So what are you seeing in the East? Who do you see as being the Dark Horse contender coming up? Well, right now it's Milwaukee's conference. They're going to finish with the best record in the conference, probably the NBA. They'll have home court for as long as they're playing in the playoffs. I think the next race, though, is we're taking a look at who's going to finish second, and that's going to be between Toronto and Boston. Toronto's had an amazing season given that they lost Kawhi Leonard. So if you're looking for a dark horse, Philadelphia is probably that team in a weird kind of way. We thought they would be higher in the standings, but they have that talent. When you have Joel Embiid, when you have Ben Simmons, you have the kind of talent to make a deep run into the playoffs. So they might not be your traditional dark horse, but they're certainly a team that can make a lot of noise in the postseason. And Mark, I'll go to you over in the West. What kind of storylines are you seeing and who do you see being that dark horse? Maybe Houston? Yeah, I would say Houston's a dark horse, but really when you're looking at the Western Conference, it's all about both LA teams, the Lakers and Clippers, and then it's going to be everyone else. And that's how it played out at the beginning of the season. But I think now it's going to be interesting of to what extent do the Lakers hold that number one seed as important right now they have the best record but you know they've maintained that they don't want to overextend LeBron James Anthony Davis and they haven't sat them a lot of games but that's because they haven't had major injuries so where's the line there and then when you're looking at the Clippers I think the expectation is they would have been better the first half of the season but you have to account for Paul George missing the first 11 games, Kawhi Leonard being in and out of the lineup and also some of the role guys being in and out of the lineup so I'm interested with the Clippers of how much more will they hold it more important to finally get a full roster that they think is comparable for the playoffs, but we'll have to wait and see.